Hi guys, welcome to RCC Adventures. Now today, we are going to see if the old girl will start. Uh, she hasn't been started for many, many months. So we're going to see how she does. And uh, hopefully she'll uh, kick into life. She's never had any issues before. She's always had the ability to start. But we'll see. So, um, you think she will? Yeah, of course she will. Yeah, of course she will. <coughs> She's a good old girl. Now, if I show you the vehicle. She's looking a bit poorly. She is a bit, isn't she, unfortunately? If we go around this side here. See the bottom of the sliding door there. All the way along there. But a load of work has been done. So, it's not completely knackered. A load of work in there been done. She hasn't really featured on the channel much. Maybe because she's been undercover. But yeah. I'm going to see if she'll start. And uh, go from there. Different pudding cap. Engine. For people that really want to know, it's a 1641. On the single car with a fat boy exhaust. So, it makes it sound really good. So yeah, we're gonna what we're gonna try some, some easy start. Some easy start. I'm gonna chuck some of this down with carb. Yeah. See if uh, it will do the job. Do a bit of an enticement. So the battery has been on charge overnight. Yeah, it didn't. You know what? It didn't really need a lot. <laughs> I come <Really>? out. <laughs> when I checked it, when I checked it uh, yesterday afternoon, it was fully charged. So I put it on a pulse charge as well to protect. Uh, Give it a help as well. Yeah. Distinctive smell that easy stuff. It is, yeah. Right, so let's see what she does. Excellent. Almost straight away. Do you want to spray a bit more easy start in there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. Definitely sounds like easy start only. Yep. Yeah, it's just easy start only. Might need to go get fuel. Yeah, there's no fuel in there. That is a lack of fuel. <laughs> Unless the fuel's congealed inside the tank. Which is a possibility. Might need to go get some fuel. Let's get some fuel, we'll give it a try again. Yeah. So, uh, we'll catch her up in a little while. Well, for you, it'd be straight away, but for us, it'd be a little while. And uh, yeah, hopefully, she'll start next time. Right, I've changed mics. Um, I'll show you the mic that I was using before, which we use iPhones, and that's the mic that was going into it. Uh, for some reason, it's okay for talking to just like that when you're sort of with the camera looking directly at you. It's all right for talking. When then it comes to anything engine wise or anything like that, distortion is crazy. So you would have heard the distortion there. So I'm using um, a Bluetooth mic, so hopefully you can hear me better. And hopefully, when we get the old girl started, it will be clear. We will see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the um, sort of the history of this car, or van, um, and yeah, and go from there really. Because um, Dad's had this horse since I was four years old, and I'm now coming up to 29. But yeah, so you know, I'm getting older and older. The van has been in the family for forever basically um we've had this vehicle the longest out of any of the vehicles um longer than we've been down where we are currently living uh, we've been here 20 something plus years and um this vehicle has always been around uh, this used to be with us when we were up in london when i when i first 
uh, when I was four, four years old. Sorry, I am um, getting over a night shift, so my brain's not working correctly, but you'll kind of use that anyway. But let's, uh, let's show you around the van. So back here, this is a Devon interior. So if you look at the, uh, the lovely newly upholstered seats, this has been done in the last sort of few years. Um, got a fridge there. Hopefully I didn't squash the mic a bit. Then you've got a fridge. Uh, this turns is a rock and roll bed. It slides out. So it comes out to about there-ish as a bed. And you've got a single chair there. Um, there's an interesting story about this van and me sat there and my granddad sat over there and my uncle sat there with dad driving. That's an interesting story, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. But you've got the... Uh, Cupboards up there, full of, um, I think it's just mugs at the moment now. You can see where she's been sat around for a while. She's starting to get a little bit mouldy on the roof there. Uh, but that's a pop top, so that does lift up. And uh, the original fabric at the front there. Again, it's on a little bit funny, unfortunately. Um, new curtains that were made up, uh, made up by my mate. And yeah, so, oh yeah, I can't forget about the cooker as well. Beautiful cooker. Show you the front. Again, these seats have been. Have they been repulsed, re -upholstered? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, they were a little bit knackered, if I remember, beforehand. Such a long time ago, uh, it's hard to remember. If you know your Volkswagens, then, or you know you know your bay windows, which is what this is, you, uh, you're you very familiar to the uh, the interiors of one of these. Beautiful tray at the bottom there, plenty of space. An MP gear shift lever. Because it's, yeah, no, it's normally very, very floppy, uh, but that really does improve it quite a lot. And yeah, let's show that. Right, let's, um, let's tell you about our story I was on about. So I was sat in that single chair. My granddad was over there. We had a gas bottle on the floor, various different other things as well. My uncle was sat in the passenger seat and my dad was driving. We were doing the MSA Classic. First time ever that a bay window, split screen, whatever, camper van. First time ever a camper van went to one of these events. And we started off at Silverstone, to the Silverstone race circuit. We then went off into the countryside, following a map and um, directions, kind of like um, if you've ever done London to Brighton, very similar doing that and then when you start at Silverstone you do one lap then you go out do your your runs and everything like that and then you end up back at Silverstone and do two more laps yeah I know it sounds mental this vehicle has been around Silverstone for three laps and the last lap dad drove it as hard as he possibly could and I mean when I say there was angles that should not have existed on a vehicle this had it it's lowered but pretty much the door handles were touching the tarmac. I had a gas bottle trying to escape. So I was holding onto that whilst having my knee up against the cooker here, staying in that chair, trying to hold a gas bottle down there with my foot. Granddad's trying to hold the cupboard doors shut uh, whilst also trying to stay on the seat. Because obviously there's no seat belts. No seat belts there either. My uncle is holding onto this handle at the front there. So he's holding on to that whilst filming. So we did a bit of filming. This is before the YouTube days, so when we before we started. Uh, but he was filming. And Dad was just going hell for leather. We had a Mark 1 Escort chasing up behind us. And we had a 1930... I think it was a 1934 Riley. Going down the Wellington Street. You know, if you, if you know the circuit, the Wellington Street is quite long. It's not the longest, but it's quite long. And this is before the refit that Silverstone had, so he still had the old pit straight. So we were coming up to um, Abbey, I think it's called, before the uh, then they go on to the pit straight. So we're going down the Wellington straight. We got the Riley on the inside of the circuit, so on the left hand side. We are about to overtake it going down the centre of the circuit. Also, with the Mark 1 Escort trying to overtake us on the outside. So it was three way going down. We then eventually made it back into the pits after doing our laps. 
and the guy who was in the um, in the Mark One Escort came up to us and went, "I've never seen anything go at those angles." So we had a brilliant time, and then we did it the following year afterwards. Uh, I can't remember what vehicle we were in. I think we were in my uncle's Triumph 2000, which then became mine, and then it was Dad's. That is the one that got rear-ended by the Sephira. Uh, we were in that of the year, the following year, and then we saw. I think it was one, maybe two other vans and one pickup, all Volkswagen. I think one was a, two was splitties, one was a bay window. I think one one of the pickups was a splitty. All going around the circuit doing the same thing. So this particular van started all that. And yeah, she's a, a beautiful machine. My dad is back with fuel. Yeah. Fuel. Yeah. Just told him about the MSA Classic. Oh yeah, the going around the track on that. Yeah. yeah. Watching a full Mustang in the kitty litter. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and then yeah, Jeff hanging on for grim death. With yeah. The holding cupboards closed. And the gas we bottle. Apps, and the gas bottle was flying out while we were going around the track as fast as we could. Did you yeah. say about down the back straight? Yeah, with Riley and the escort. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was an absolutely superb day. That was. Yeah. And That's only one of the adventures that we've had in this yeah, vehicle. Yeah, she's done prom. So. Yeah. Done a prom. Yeah, she's also gone down to Cornwall with a trailer tent on the back. Not as big as that one. Not as big as that one, but it's still big enough. Yeah. Um, that's why it's got a tow bar on it. Uh, and it had, what, it was five of us inside, plus yeah. the trailer tent, and plus bikes. the bikes on the back, uh, boogie boards. Uh, the van was completely ram solid. And, yeah, she survived. Didn't like it, but she, she did it. She was also at um, Sandown in the club displays on the outside of the... Main building. Yeah. She was there a few day, a few years, on a trot with um, the Wilts v Dub Club. Which obviously we're still members of. Yep. Yep. I've yeah. just had someone just changing it from the van. Yeah. I've goes in the petrol station, parks up at, at a, um, a fuel uh, gun pump. thing, pump, that, that's the word. <laughs> Fills that up, puts yeah. it back in the car, goes and pays. When I come out, and the car I'd gone up beside was a 62 play Q6. So big thing. Next thing I know, the window comes down and the lovely woman that was in the car, she said, can, I'm sorry to say, can I, if you don't mind me saying, what a gorgeous car you've got there. I absolutely love it. I'd love <laughs> to have one of them one day. Obviously you went in the Jag. I was in the Jag. Mm. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, um, that, made my, that made my day, that did. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll wax some fuel in, and um, hopefully she'll start. Well, she's already encouraged us that she will start on easy start, so... There's electricity, there's, there's sparky sparky. Well, that's good. Because it coughed, didn't it? It did. So, yeah. I think we've waffled on enough of this section. Let's, uh, let's get her started, shall we? Right, should we give it a go? Yeah, we right, put we some put, fuel in. We put some fuel. We haven't gone mad, have we? No. At the end of the day, I still need to. I've got to put new fuel lines on, so whatever goes in there, I've got to get out. Yeah. Right, here we go again. Easy start again. Yes, yeah, please. Gauge moving until it's showing. So. Oh, well, maybe it is really that low then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. That was a bit more, yeah. 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 I don't know if there's any fuel in the actual filter. Yeah, I was thinking that. Uh, yeah, there's fuel in there. Yeah, it's filled out. It doesn't, I, I would say that filter needs changing. 
a bit mink. A bit more spray. A bit more spray. Almost. Yeah. Better. Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just when she sounds like she's gonna. Go on, Still not happy. Still not fully happy. Right. But. She's run. She's run. She's alive. Yeah. That fuel filter does look a bit mank. It does look a little bit on the mank. So. Why don't we. Change it? Yes. Yeah. There's the old fuel filter, I think. You didn't have stated it. It's not surprising at all, really. It's been sat around for a very long time. But, she is a runner, she just won't run for a long period of time. So, we'll change the fuel filter and see if she'll start again. It's getting up there. Maybe it's the old mank fuel, just not letting it run. But there was, it didn't seem to have any fuel, did it? No. Just gonna get some blue. Blue air roll there. For you guys that are not aware of these, well, the old, the old style cam, camper vans, Beetles, all that sort of thing, um, the early Porsches, uh, Skodas, and all that, they are air cooled, so they don't have a radiator or cooling system that uses water, they use air. So uh, we ain't got to check coolant because there isn't any. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, there's air, so yeah, the coolant's fine. Yep. <laughs> Theoretically, if I'm over that end, it shouldn't come out. Yeah. Survey says. Oh <laughs> god, that's um, that's well, Mink. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put some new fuel pipe on that whilst it, it's out. <clears throat> yeah, that's not good. Just trying to look at the, uh, the paper inside. It is almost collapsed. So it's not filtering correctly at all. Right, so you're going to put a smaller filter on it, aren't you? I'm putting a small, yeah, they will do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just looking to see if there's an arrow for which is the direction. I think it's that way. Yeah. There's normally an in and an out. Yeah. Well, being it's printed that way, yeah, we'll go for that way. We'll, we'll go that way. <laughs> just to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. It's trouble when you do it in a car park that's not flat. Yeah. Never wants you to stay put. Right, it's A little bag of bits. A bag of bits. Spark plugs. Oh, Wheaties. Haribo Tang Fastics. What's the date on them? Sometime. Um, best before, I don't know, Millennium? That might be alright. There's no date on it. Oh, hang on. What's that? Oh, yeah. January 22. They're only a year out of date.
Yeah. You're probably the last time you went in that bag then. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was the last V-dub show that I went to that I got all this stuff. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, put it in here and never opened it up again. Mm. Time capsules, these kind of vehicles, aren't they, Dad? They are, yeah, especially this thing. Yeah. This old girl. It's about time I've done some more work for the old girl. Well, it's been on and off for the last few years, hasn't it? It has, yeah. There. So other than the pipe that's going through the fuel filter, what other pipe is it you need to change? Is it the stuff from the fuel tank? It's all of them. There's there's a flexi there, which I might as well do now. That's all the engine bay fuel pipes done then. Yeah, the only other, the other one stuff. then, because it's a, it's a solid metal pipe goes down. Yeah. And then that goes for flexi that goes into the bottom of the tank. Yeah. So that yeah, that's that's the only other one that I've got to do really. That's the main one, so I'm yeah. concerned, because that's the one I need the tank emptied for. Yeah. Right. There. Oh, fall over then. What we should have done this here is get something to sit on. Yeah, there is that. But then that's just using my brain, I don't use my brain. Well, no, and you've got an excuse that you haven't, you got up at half two this morning to go to work. And haven't been to bed yet. And you ain't been to bed yet. My excuse is that I finished work this morning and I've only had a few hours kip. Yeah. You don't need any of that. That'd be rubbish. RCC Adventures. The people that work on vehicles when stupidly tired. Yeah. <laughs> I think pretty much every project we've worked on is because we've been on nights. Yeah. Go on, get on there, you. YouTube word. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you little thing, you. Little. Right. Did the job. Yeah. Bit of lube. That's better. Lovely. Right. So. Clippity clip. Clippity clip. Oh, stand up again. Oh, that's on my knees. So you're changing that one there, aren't you now? At the same time. Which, to be fair, looks like it's been on there a very long time. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. I remember when this engine came out, you know, you did all this work to it. Mm. Painted it all up, making it look crazy. Mm. How many years ago was that? It's got to be over 15, surely. Oh, I thought so, something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be that sort of length of time. Because isn't it a beetle block? Yeah, beetle case. Yeah, beetle case. It was a 1300 yeah. beetle case, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, the difference between a van case or an early bay case and a beetle case is for the fact that this there's a on the early bay there's a, a mountain bracket back here hmm. I'm not sure what the late ones have got i think it, it's going to be different but that didn't fit to this case and there's an adapter kit that i think like just campers or someone like that if i remember rightly where i got it from um they they've done a this adapter blocks and whatever it was i can't remember um, but it made it all fit. Yeah. Yeah, good old motor, this. The old turnkey. As I said before, it's a 1641. Yeah, well, it started its life as a 1584 engine in this. Yeah. And then I done out the 1641, where I then lost a valve guide which then rattled and broke up and rattled around rattled around inside the combustion chamber and uh, yeah, buggered the head up. The, the, the surface, the, the, the 
combustion service on the piston was slightly dented, mm. but that cleaned up okay. So um, I reused that. Um, but, oh God, I, I noticed I had, get on there, I needed new big end bearings. Go on, get on there, you. <laughs> Pipe you. Take <laughs> the cap and rotor arm off. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, so, so I've just taken all that off, get, make it bloody easier for myself. Yeah, so I found that I uh, big end bearings needed doing when I was rebuilding that engine, and I couldn't, and they were oversized bearings, and I couldn't get them at the time, so I had this spare case. Yeah. Got new. Standard size bearings, which was easy enough. So rebuilt it that way. Hmm. Also, re initially rebuilt the engine with um, twin carbs. Yeah, but you couldn't get it as a setup, I probably, I, could I, you? I, yeah, well, I followed all the instructions to do it, but it just would not balance so and it was a they were get to start so it was like I decided to put this card back on again and as you see it starts whenever I need it to yeah. pretty, pretty much until at the moment is there a way you can fit a bigger single carb on yeah you can um I think you can put a like a twin choke Weber double down draft uh, carburetor you need a new manifold and yeah and stuff like that because I had the um, 32 34 weather on uh, the Schrocco yeah I want a 32 right. 36 on the, the 100 e yeah so you could probably fit something like that but there are you know there's kits that the all the VW specialists do didn't want to pull that off ah I wonder if that's something to do with it, why it might not. There's a fuel shut off valve. Ah. You reckon you might have turned that off? No, a few not, years back. no it wouldn't. it's not turned off. No, it's, it's electrically operated, but it's a bit. Terminal looks a bit ah, okay. oxidised up. So we can give that a try, can't we? Yeah. That's it. That's the bottom one. <sighs> I'm trying to show you as much as we possibly can working on the old girl because she hasn't really been on the channel at all. <sighs> that pipe's a little bit too long. It's pushing up. Yeah, it is. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Up against the core terminals as well. Okay, still not working. Okay. Still not working. 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 Yes, here. Okay. <laughs> Just said <to> you. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah, go on up. No. That's just still only easy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, there's fuel into the fuel filler now, so it's, it's getting fuel up there. Has he got an electronic idle um, thing? I can't remember. The fuel yeah, car yeah, filled. Yeah, I've just, I've just checked, checked and it. And that's all right. Yeah. I've just literally just checked it. 
It's clicking when you disconnect it. But it starts all right. Well, easy, yeah. <laughs> well, easy, yeah. yeah. No, but that's, that's all right. Yeah. You know that you've got everything that you, well, you've got, it runs. Yeah. It just needs um, needs a float. I might have to take the car off and give it a tickle. Yeah, let's give it a go again. It's definitely fuel. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely fuel. Yes. We need some the carby wabi off. It's not surprising it hasn't been ran for a long time. No. Might have a sticky float. Ooh. If there was old fuel in there, it would have gummed it up. Yeah. Mind you, the fuel don't look very clean. <laughs> yeah, but it runs, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, it, we put probably, what, a litre of decent fuel in it. Yeah. yeah. So we're just getting rid of the dregs. Yeah. Which, well, we've got loads of fuel filters, we just keep changing them. Yeah. Take the carb off then. Yeah, so we, um, yeah, she, she won't run. No, she starts and runs on in on the uh, on the easy start. On the easy start, but she won't run off the carb, off the fuel. There's fuel going up. We put a new fuel filter on. There's fuel going to the carb, but it's not running off of off of what's ever in here. So we've taken the carb off, and I'm going to have a look in the uh, off of the uh, the fuel the fuel bowl. Because of course it could be the jets. And there's fuel in it. Okay. Here's more Christine. should be banned from using these. Should be banned from any tool. Any, well, anything that's sharp. Oh, God. Let's get the or NA. blunt. Do you want me to ring the N999 now? No, John? well, we can I think it would be best. Go and give Jane a shout next door. Yeah. You've only recently just got over your last one. Yeah. <laughs> Which was a chisel. <laughs> it was a wood chisel, Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's sharp or blunt with you, you may just put a blunt screwdriver for it. About just over 40 years ago, he'd done the same similar thing at school. Yeah, sounds very right. And he had to go home. No he was laying on the floor. There are reasons yeah. for it. Hand tools or Dremels, I think you should be paying from. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that does look a bit manky here. Yeah, it's a bit dark, isn't it? You got a torch or anything? You can't really see it in there with the camera. So, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, I had nowhere to go. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't over the camera. <laughs> Just Jeff ran away. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh yeah, that is. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that needs cleaning. Yeah, that needs cleaning. Yeah. I bet it's stuck in. If that's not the um, float. Not stuck. Be there, yeah. it's be there. So this is going to need a service, I think. So let's get rid of this fuel. These old oil cans get plenty of use after being used. I think, that's a that good, well, I think that's a good reason why it's not running. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's allowed well, look, to. I mean, not, it's not even falling down. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. That's so sticking it's, up. it's everything, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's well stuck, isn't it? Hmm. I think it's uh, Carl's going to need. Well, it's, it's, it needed a good, not necessarily a, a, a complete overhaul, but see, that's working. Yeah. You don't need an overhaul, it just needs a damn good clean. Yeah. Yeah, it just might need, um, if you can free that up, float jet thing. You want the car cleaner? Yeah, I think so. Um, take it off and give it a clean up, it might be all. Yeah. I've put new ones of these in. Yeah. And then put the old one back in. <laughs> what, by mistake? New, no, because the new one don't. Oh, well, did we, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I had to completely rebuild the one that was on. It's a proper, Andrei, didn't it? it was a proper um, Strongberg carb kit. Yeah. It's, it's not the first time I've done it. There's quite a few times I've changed it. Well, you, you know, you just rebuild your carburetor because you, excuse me, you think, oh, it's about time it had one. Yeah. And then you end up putting the old one back in because it worked. Well, better, worked yeah. Worked better with the old stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I can't really be doing it in this bank. I think we need to clean the shed. So, we've done some work to the old girl. Yeah. So obviously there's going to be a part two. Yeah. To to the the adventures of the early bay. Yeah. Rosie the early bay. And the, so the next time you'll have a, a new bottle of, of a fire extinguisher out of hand, will you? Or a bucket of water, just in case when it starts. No, there is a fire extinguisher in there. Oh, good. Does it, does it and, and the needle's in green. Oh. <laughs> what? Do I need to get one of those full fire outfits? You know, those, oh, I don't think so. Just in case. I don't think so. That'd be fine. What yeah, you, should be. What are you doing today? Oh, we're going to start the camper. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the first time. <laughs> it's the first time she's failed to start. And run. And run. She started, so she's got she's got power. Yeah. She's got fuel going up because that's just proved that. So. I think, right, we're going to have to give the good old, the car a good old clean up and service. Hmm. Wasn't she a pick to start last time you started all that time ago? Oh, God, it was that, what was it? It must have been six, eight months ago we last tried. Say like six months ago. Didn't you also say to me yesterday that the, fuel filter, what, the filter wasn't on it? Yeah, they found the air filter not on it, yeah. So that's probably been playing about. And then forgot. And then forgot to put it on. So there's not a spider in here. Or if there was, he's come out. <laughs> Rather than that, we've gone in, gone in through the. We've seen him off the, the smoke and the bits of spider coming out the exhaust <laughs> earlier. <laughs> right, so we need to do a bit of tidying up and then we can get on with this. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we'll call it a bit of a day on this at the moment. Yeah, call it quick. So, guys, yeah, if you uh, keep an eye out for, for part two, um, that'll probably come next week and then uh, we'll go from there. So, if you could. Uh, Subscribe, like, and share, and we'll catch you later. Cheers.